know, this, this is an afterthought I've had now that I've filmed this video, is that I, I don't want you to think that I'm like super calloused to death, uh, although part of me actually is, so maybe that's not accurate. Uh, I just hear so many, so often people on forums talking about, you know, if, if you're gonna breed, it's part of the process, and you're not, not every animal's gonna make it, and so I've drilled that into my head, and even with my very first clutch, only one snake survived out of that first clutch, so I've, I've steeled myself against that um, pretty well, I think. Because uh, it does suck. It sucks. But, man, it's part of the process. Not, not all the animals make it. If you're going to breed, if you're ever going to work with animals and, and reproduce animals and help animals reproduction, they're not all going to make it, no matter what animals you work with. I think that's probably true. So, here's the video. Now let's turn it the other way. The rain pooped. Now it's a turn for me. See, I like it. Oh, see, I like it. Hey, Eli. What? What do you know? I know. Poison. What about poison? That it won't kill you, and that's all I know. Jeez. Hey, Moosh. Poison is bad for your tummy and it's bad for your mouth and it's bad for your arms and it's bad for your bones and that's why I know. Hey Moosh, what do you know? Hey Bruce, what do you know? I know I got little boogie sticky stickies on my face. Face daddy didn't clean me up all the way for the video. Oh. Top of the morning, friends and family. Welcome to Thank You Thursday. We're gonna be thankful for all you guys today. Thankful for all you wonderful commenters, all you wonderful subscribers who watch our videos mm. and pay attention. And we want to thank you guys because. And thank you. Oh, Music Monday's not happening yet, but we're gonna get there. Hopefully later tonight we're gonna go up to the mountain and film Music Monday for you guys. Yeah, yeah. Assuming that everything yeah, yeah. cooperates, including weather and children and wives and all that stuff. Hillary and Noah are both at school and work, respectively. No, not respectively. They're just there. They're not, they're not here. I'm trying to figure out if I should use this tripod to make my life easier, or if I should just hold it like this and we'll run around. We're gonna see which one's easier. I might need to use the tripod, I might not. I'm gonna open up some uh, mail that I got from you guys, packages and whatnot, and we're gonna talk about some important stuff. As usual, we always talk about important stuff here, most of the time. Yeah! Oh, CC. Check out, check out me and Eli's dinosaur shirts. Yours is a green and mine is dark green. So before, before I, before, before, before I, before, before I, before, before I before, before open up the mail from you guys, I wanted to give you a quick little look at that clutch that we were looking at in that live stream the other day. I want to see, 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 I want to see. Aww. Can I pet one? No, just leave them alone. There's so many. Thank you. You see the you see the you see the you see the you see the, you see the head stamp on that one that one super wrenchy thing. Apparently, I'm really bad at identifying fire in ball python combos, so I'm gonna work on that a little bit. And once those snakes shit out, we'll do a full video and show you the whole collection detail and go over each snake and little tiny macro like fineness. And you guys enjoy it, or else we're gonna take a quick look here at the snake that didn't make it out of that clutch. So. Fair warning, you don't want to see a dead snake. Skip ahead to this timestamp right here. That didn't die. Yeah, it died. It crawled out and died. <laughs> so at some point last night, it crawled out of the egg and then proceeded to pass away. Uh, I don't know exactly what's going on with it. The pattern looks a little different. I mean, I think it's just a, I think it was a normal. It's interesting. The only, 
I don't know, bud. I don't know exactly. It just it one thing one thing it definitely didn't finish doing all the way completely do is form. You can see it's got the bottom jaw. It's got that sharky overbite. It didn't the bottom jaw didn't form completely. Um, so I, it's amazing to me that it even made it out of the egg. But uh, yeah, it just it didn't it didn't make it. Unfortunately, I've kind of steeled myself against the fact that this is something that's going to happen from time to time. Even though it does suck, it is part of the snake reproduction process. They don't all make it. This is the first one of mine since my very first clutch, which was a huge failure. Um, yeah, that a snake didn't make it. I, this is the one that didn't make it. I really don't know what to chalk it up to. I'm gonna feed this baby to one of my indigos if they'll take it. The indigos have been eating rodents, so I might have to scent it or something to get them beat up. I would like them, since they are snake-eating species, to be able to eat some snakes if they have the opportunity, which this seems to me like a perfect opportunity for that. So, yeah. I want to feed the snakes the baby one because some snakes eat babies. Yay, titanoboas. Oh, do they? Yeah, sometimes when the when the baby the titanoboas bite them and they go back and eat one. All right, tripod's definitely gonna come in handy for this part. Uh, let's see here. Maybe a chair. Got a first thing from Nikki Binzen. We are giving away stickers. If you send us a long safe, which is a self-addressed stamped envelope, send us one of those to the uh, P.O. box down in the description and we will send you a sticker back. Hey Brian, I just wanted to say my wife and I love watching your channel and look forward to watching new videos. We love that you share your life and family and also your love for the reptile community. I am new to the community and aspire to educate and grow as a person while becoming more invested in reptiles. At the moment, we only have four ball pythons and one beardy, but hopefully that will change with time. I love all pythons and hope to one day get a retick. Once again, thank you for the content and the knowledge you put out. It really makes a difference in some people's lives. I know it has ours. You have a beautiful family. It seems like a genuine soul. You always represent other people with the best of your ability, which is awesome. From a small town in Tennessee, where not a lot of people have snakes. It's cool to know there are a lot of people elsewhere that do. Thanks again, Brian, for all that you do. Thank you guys, this is really nice paper. Mm. Mr. Daddy. Mr. Scrimmings. Thank you, Cusco, you the man. Bam, Val Reptiles, Zach Val, of, or is it Valle? It depends on if you're doing the Spanish Daddy, pronunciation or not. Can yes? I help? Sure. Thanks. Zach is putting together a board for people that are sending him stickers to put on a big Batman symbol that he's gonna, I believe, auction off um, maybe at Tinley for Chase or somewhere. There's a, there's a big Batman symbol with a bunch of reptile people stickers going on it for Chase. And speaking of Chase, whoo, we get all kinds of stuff in here. We got yeah. Kabilka stickers and JKR goes dark and JKR's bright side. All kinds of cool stuff in here and even and even this, a suit. <laughs> yep. And this little thing too. This is uh, gonna be. This is helpful. For those of you guys that haven't been following along with uh, Chase's journey, uh, Justin Kabilka's uh, facility manager, who's been fighting brain cancer and recently had the surgery, successful surgery, thankfully, to remove the tumor, and he's recovering right now. And it's looking like he's doing good. It's been a very successful campaign to help this gentleman get back on his feet. And uh, it just made me think as well about everything that, uh, hold on a sec. This gentleman right here, Chase. It's really awesome to see everybody reaching out and giving so much support um, to another, another fellow member in the community. It's something this community is really good at doing. And it just made me think of, it made me think that if everybody could always, you know, not just in the case here with Chase, like there's been a lot of good, a lot of people helping. It's been amazing to see the support is that if you take that energy, that all, everybody that's been doing that and, and apply that on a daily basis to everything you do, it's not easy. You know, we're only just human. We can only do so much. And, but to me, it's, a, it's an inspiration to see that, to help me remember that on a daily basis, you should always help anybody you can. Whenever it's possible for you to help somebody else who is in need of help, whether it's asking a simple question or what a lot of people would regard as a stupid question on a forum, to help that person and want to help them because they need help. It's something that I think gets lost a lot of the time until we have something like this with Chase to remind us that yes, we all do need help from time to time. And that it, 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 the more that we reach out and help each other, it creates this 
echo of help, this echo of good energy and vibes of people taking care of each other and moving, moving in, in a direction that will forward everybody eventually. You know, you, you can look at it in a selfish way if you want to. If you help somebody else, Hi. that eventually it's going to come back around as good for you. It is. And the more that you do that, the more it helps everybody. It's, it's, it's inspirational for me. And then this guy doesn't want me to finish my, my deep thought. He wants my, and he'll, and, and she's trying to climb into a five gallon bucket. I'm going down to see what she's doing. Here's a little tidbit that might be helpful for you guys too. You, you don't want to leave kids unsupervised around a bucket like that full of water. Especially at that age, they can climb into the bucket and drown because they can't get back out. So if you got buckets of water sitting around like that, make sure you're around too. Especially if you got one of those running around. <laughs> I actually got a second shirt just because I was feeling it. And you know, sometimes I feel things. Oh, look! Hey, Mr. Triple B, you rock. Look, a little personalized side thing. Trip Justin, I'm famous now. Different kind of snakes. Oh, and there's different big. Look at those snakes, my guy. Those are awesome. I, I still don't have a JKR snake. That is going to change one day soon. This one right here, Justin. That, that one right there. That's the one I want. Can I have that one, please? Oh, Record of Reptiles. Look at those stickers. Those things are sweet. That's a nice sticker, man. And look at this paper. Look at this. That's official. Look at this. A card snake. Brian, just wanted to let you know I really enjoy your YouTube channels and videos. They're very entertaining and educational. Really digging the various personalities of the Hurt World that you have on Triple B TV. Here's some stickers you'd enjoy and slap on that incubator. I don't actually. Here's here's a little fun fact for you guys. I don't actually put stickers on my incubator. I put them on my stands. This is my stand that I use for a lot for you know, overhead shots and whatnot. I am running out of room on this one. Luckily, I've got stands all over the place. This is awesome, guys. You don't just send envelopes, you send little <coughs> cards as well. <coughs> well, don't stand on it, you ding ding. <coughs> oh my gosh. Uh, you gotta be careful, you little squishy. You okay? Chasing the, chasing the snot. Reptile gems, pythons, and boas, Mr. James Galbraith. Uh, this is for the Cusco family. I'm gonna wait until. The rest of the family gets here. From London, Ontario, we got pear tree pythons. Look at that. That's a nice sticker too. You guys, you guys got some real nice sticker designs out there, man. I gotta say. Hi, bro. I thought I would return the favor after all the things you have sent me over the last couple years. I've included a sticker of my, for my page Instagram. Awesome. Thanks, Don. Shing shing. Straight out of Canada, Beatrice. Yeah yeah. Yeah yeah. We ain't done yet. Brian, I really enjoy your informative videos. Your family is adorable and no one ever ceases to amaze me. He'll be in another video, don't worry. I've included a the, the envelope. I hope you'll send me a sticker. Appreciate all that you do. Keep up the awesome work. Send love to your family for me. You're welcome. Thank you, Amy Dunham. Thomas Rattay got a sticker. Didn't ask for one back, just gave me a sticker. Thanks, my friend. Check that out. Mm, look at that. There, there are some really phenomenal logo designs out there, man. They just look good. They look good. I like it. You see the little snake coming out of the bottom of the bell there? What that's, snake? That snake right there. Wow. See the snake coming in the bottom? All right, got to put more stickers on stands, and uh, we're going to get out of here, I think. You guys done? You guys done? Are we done? Nope, there's still more. Oh, these are all the envelopes that we're sending people stickers back with. We are all, all done. Okay. Eli says we're done. Thank you guys. Please think about what I said. And I hope you all are having a great day. Thank you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thursday. Woo! And now we're going right by What puts a smile on your face? Tell me the truth.